Hi guys, in this video I'll be reviewing the Diane Dinos Cube. So just before I get into the review of this, I just want to review these two cubes really quickly. And this was sent to me from Light Take, so this came with a pamphlet kind of thing. I think this is just an overall like Rubik's kind of pamphlet because Rubik's Cube kind of pamphlet because it tells gives you tutorials and then it gives you like the structure of the uh, uh, Alpha or Alpha 5 and all that. And then some more you stuff. So I think it's just just like a general pamphlet. And then there's some stickers here. And this is like the zodiac sign, I think, the Chinese zodiac sign. Because I know uh, this says the goat. And yeah. And then it says, I like Rubik's Cube down here. And yeah. So that's just those logos. So let's quickly get into the concave cube. So concave cube overall, it's not that great of a cube. Obviously, you can tell by the design. It's never going to work because it's just, it's just going to catch on things and... I don't know, when I first saw it, I knew it's not going to turn that great. And it does not turn as that great. It just locks up and it has a really rough kind of turn. And you can feel all the grindiness inside. And it's just not that great. And I've had a couple of pops on this cube. And, yeah, it's just a fun little uh, puzzle kind of thing. It's not meant for speed cube anyway. It's just a collect uh, collector's item. Really cool design though. Really different feel. So that's that. So this is the Mofung kind of uh, 4x4 so this is a stickerless as you can see it comes with a pink side light blue kind of bright orange and kind of lime green and then standard yellow and white so turning wise it's not that bad it's probably pretty it's pretty good I would say I think it's better than cyclone boys but the thing is it has a really weird feel it's just one when if you turn it slowly you can feel the, like this dryness and the roughness but I've added lube onto this but yeah when you turn it fast, you can't feel it, but then if you slow turn it, you can feel the weird grindiness, kind of sandy, rough feeling. It's kind of slow, the outer layer, and the inner layer is not as slow, it's just slightly better. But overall, not that bad. But And the inside, the mechanism, the centerpiece has the um, tab thing, so it's kind of the X-Cube design. And then overall, you've seen the, I'm pretty sure it's really familiar to, familiar to you guys with these standard design. It's just the simple design, nothing too nothing too special about it it's really simple it's cubic and the corner is just out here so you can take the corner out it's nothing to be surprised about so overall for this 4x4 stickless 4x4 I would say it's not a bad 4x4 it's probably better than the um, Cyclone Boys 4x4 I would say in my opinion but yeah I've played around with this not a bad cube times not that great because it does tend to lock up once in a while but overall, not a bad stickerless 4x4, and I'm I don't mind the color scheme actually. I'm actually quite like it. I'm actually liking it. So now let's get to this Dino Cube. So I've never had a cube or anything, and these type of cubes. So these type of cubes, like the Dino Cube, I don't like all these cube kind of things. I don't have them, and the reason for that is because I'm not really interested in them. So I don't know how well this review is going to go because I've never. I don't think I can even solve this. I know it just turns like this. It turns like a cube, but then. It's just got different kind of making designs to it. It's just different mods to it. The turning wise, you can feel kind of scratchy kind of feeling because there's the Diane logo engraved into it. If I can find it somewhere. There. I hope you guys can see that. If I shine on the light, you guys can see that there's a Diane logo there. So you can feel the scratchiness from that. But other than that, it's not a bad uh, turning cube. It turns really easily. You can hear some spring noise. Uh, that's because I haven't really internal lubed. I've just added Mario lube onto it because it was kind of stiff when I first unboxed it. But yeah, I'm not too sure how this cube works. I know it doesn't shape shift for sure because it's not supposed to. But you guys can kind of see here. This is how it turns. I've never really, really reviewed a cube or got into cu uh, cubes, so I'm not too sure what I should expect out of this cube. I can tell you that the turning does actually turn quite nice. It turns probably like a Zanchi, I would say. But not as great. But yeah, there's nothing really to say about it. It's just a skewed mod, I would say. And these don't turn, by the way. So it just turns here, and then this is the like the middle thing. So you guys can leave. If you guys find any tutorials, please do um tell me because I want to do actually want to try to learn how to solve this. Even though I'm not that into it, it's just something for fun. Might as well try learn it since I've scrambled it up. But yeah, I don't really know what else to say. It's a pretty decent cube. I think if, once you get into the lubed internals, it should be fine. I'll try to take a piece out, see if I... Oh, wow. Okay. So as you can see here, it's pretty... It's different. I thought it would be more dying kind of structure, but it does splinter too. 
and then the corner this corner piece does not oh wait it does actually it does split into uh, thirds and the edge piece does split into uh, twos and then these split as well I'm pretty sure yep they do because they have a line yep and yeah so this is probably the inside edge piece and I hope you guys can see the core it's that milky kind of color but yeah other than that, that's the inside. I hope you guys can see that well. You guys can see the factory lube on there and a bit of the Maru lube. So yeah, I'll assemble this and get back to you guys. So I've assembled this cube. It took me about five minutes. I had to figure it out. But overall, I would say if you are into cubes and into like different challenges, try this out. It's a die-in uh, it's a die-in brand, so of, of course you pay for what you get, and the quality is really good. So overall, really good turning. And probably a fun challenge for some of you guys. So if you guys want one, go check down the link down below. And if you guys want to look for more cubes, also go down below. And I'll link, like, there'll be lots of links down below you guys can click on. So yeah, guys, that's it. That's my review of the Dian Dino Cube, the Concave Cube, and this More Funga 4x4 Sticklers. So just before I end this video, I just want to tell you guys that in the next few videos, there may be non-cubing related. So don't panic, because I will have more cubing stuff. It's just that I want to show you guys some tech stuff, technology stuff. And so don't panic, there will be more cubing stuff. I know this channel is specifically for cubing, but I also want to branch out slightly a bit, just like I did last time. Just a few videos here and there, and then I'll get back onto cubing. So yeah, guys, don't worry, don't panic, don't unsubscribe or anything. It's just for a bit. And that's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.